Hello and welcome to the News Minute. We are very happy to have with us actor Simran and director Gautam Vasudevan, who are going to talk to us about uh, their portion in the Netflix anthology Baba Kadigal. This one called Ban Magal. Thank you so much for joining us, you two. Uh, so you're playing a very different mother in this one. Uh, what did you think about the character and the trajectory in the film? It is a very powerful character. What I'm doing in Ban Magal. I feel that it has really come out very well. There was lots for me to perform. Uh, mm-hmm. It was quite challenging, and when I heard the narration, uh, I could project myself uh, in that uh, role of uh, being mother to uh, two girls and a yeah. boy who is the eldest. Uh, so I just went with the flow uh, of the character and the film, the whole feel of the film. Uh, so Gautam sir, so tell me, this is a family that's faced with a painful experience, and uh, your story yes. focuses more on the mother dealing with it. Can you tell us a little more about what you know, uh, uh, what made you write uh, the mother in this story? So it is, it is a family. There is a father, there is a uh, his wife, and uh, you know the three kids and all that. That's how I always wanted to establish this family, and it's a. Sort of a small town in Madurai, uh, probably mm-hmm. a, a couple of steps down in terms of the ambience that I normally set up with my <laughs> films. You know, uh, mm-hmm. uh, the, the, if you look at the character of Satya Silan, he's a teacher, teaches English in a yeah. school there, you know, in a school there and all that. And uh, she is the uh, homemaker, and uh, she leads from the front, and uh, which is how I always wanted you know women to be. So everything goes around what she wants, and it's all done in a very nice way. Uh, you know like how it should be except i except when the painful incident or whatever pain that the family goes through even then i wanted the woman to come out and stand out and go through the entire process you know she takes the decisions of uh, not going and reporting this she takes the decision of handling the family and whatever goes through in her mind the inhuman thoughts or the or the you know the average human thoughts everything goes through uh, her mind and everybody else becomes supporting you know after a point so i always wrote it like that and i wanted to be like that which is why i wanted somebody of similar stature to 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 play, to play that character uh, you know so it was from the writing onwards and uh, to convert that to these visual images was easy with somebody like her and with everybody else also like aditya baskar played the son such a wonderful actor to work with you know he was there with us throughout the little girls also were like actually spot on you know they they put so much into it yeah. and the girl the younger girl had to go through the trauma of being filmed uh, you know with that particular scene but we made sure that everything exactly. was really you know taken care of and all that so it was a it was a uh, it was gut wrenching to film also you know most of the moments mm-hmm. uh, and uh, so we could imagine what a family like this would go through so we were just reflections you know at this point so that's true like what you said the film had quite a bit of violence you know there's a violence scene where this minor is involved uh, which could be triggering uh, so what kind of homework uh, went into creating that scene you know the homework is only to make the child uh, uh, actor feel very comfortable and uh, we made mm-hmm. sure her mother was present right through and if you look mm. at the scene we've not shown anything it's all left to the viewers uh, imagine mm. sometimes that becomes more uh, stark and bizarre you know so but that is a yeah. choice that you have to take um, so uh, uh, and and the homework went into creating that ambiance that milieu of putting the actors into putting the characters into that space you know otherwise uh, mm. it came easy like like it showed after so many years of experience it, it came easy yeah. okay okay uh, my next one is to uh, simran Uh, can you tell me how it was working with uh, Gautam Menon, the director, and Gautam Menon, the actor? Uh, we also heard you helped him a little with his uh, scenes. Is that true? No, no, no. I did not help him at all. He is a fantastic person, um, uh, a fantastic human being from inside. What reflected actually while uh, he acted also. So uh, it went very well, and. Uh, it i think it was not very tough uh, actually gautam what do you say it was not tough for you to act at all because uh, you know i have always told him uh, you know in our discussions of our previous movies and uh, in this also that gautam you must think about acting and then he was just trying to uh, you know he, he never i think he was not interested in acting before and now but now i i think it, it took a very good decision of acting 
in Banmagal and uh, it really worked out very well for the film. So, yes, so yes. she and helped I, I, in the sense that uh, you take from her, like I think this act, this actually happens to actors. You know, you take from somebody's yeah. body language that helps you to perform. And if if yeah. if somebody else was there on the other side and was lacking in that, then you're you're also lost. You know, then you as a director for me especially to get that right, right. and then to get this right also would have been quite a task. So. Uh, so she fit in, uh, you know, so easily into that space, into that ambience, into that house that we put her in, you know. And uh, there were not so many references also. Maybe some of the ladies in that house, she might have glanced at a couple of times, I think, in the house that yeah. we actually shot and there were actually people staying there and we shot in their place. Uh, so okay. when she fit in so easily and, and looking at her and this is what everybody else said also around me, you know. She just kind of merged in with that background in the frame. So for me to just take from her was easy is what I meant. According according to the script, also it required um, very homely uh, look and no makeup at all. And uh, you know, and of course, uh, the observation was uh, as Gautam said was very right that you know just looking at the uh, ladies over there that how they dress up, how they walk, and how they sit, and you know how, how it has to be done in the shot. Then you just take it from there and just put yourself together into that uh, you know body language. And Gautam, uh, can you tell me, you're acting a lot more now and we mostly saw you on cameos earlier and then there was trance. Uh, what has changed uh, as an actor for you? Oh, uh, see, I both trance and Kandum Kandum was largely because of the director and the unit. Mm. Uh, Kandum Kandum was, uh, trance was mainly because of Anwar Rashid, the director, the crew, uh, you know, and mm. Fahad Fazil. Um, they all spoke to me and made me feel very comfortable and all that. So I wanted to be, it's also a learning process for me to watch other people at work, to be in a in a space where there are other bigger technicians working and their understanding of a shot and cinema, it's by itself, you know. So I, I it, it was a window that opened and I didn't want to not put my head out through that window and take a look at what is happening. So it, it was just that. I think if I'm comfortable with the genre, if I'm comfortable with what is given to me as scenes, and if I find that I can be in that space, I, I will, I think, so, yeah. Um, and coming back to the film, you, there's, there are two sensitive topics that, that are being discussed. One is uh, people not trusting the judicial system or even the police enough. And then there's uh, taking justice in one's own hand. And, this, and by this, I mean violence. Uh, do you think uh, these are uh, two ideas that could be endorsed or supported? No, there's no endorsement or uh, supporting at all in this film. You know, we don't conform to anything that, uh, you know, so within that, the impact that the film would have had if the ending was was actually what it looked like, uh, mm. you know, uh, I don't mm. want that to be just for the impact sake. You know, I was very sure of that. That was something I completely didn't want to and believe in. But everything else could happen to anybody, you know, um, if I could use the word God forbid. It could happen to anybody and then how does the family react? So when you ask around, when you look around, when you talk to police officers, there are lots of mm. cases that don't go reported. It's not because of yeah. the lack of belief in the system uh, or the police. It's because of, of maintaining the honor within the family. It's because of how the society will look at the child or your family after that. You know, if uh, you know, it's a very obvious reason as to why the names of uh, uh, most of the victims are not put out because uh, it's to protect, yes, but also it's also there because you don't want the family to go through, you know, unnecessary societal pressures and stress, right? So, so, uh, so we're only we're only conforming or or showing what actually happens in society to a large extent, but we were not endorsing it at all. Uh, have you watched the other segments? And if yes, which one uh, do you find more, uh, you know, uh, impactful or hard to watch? Similar. Yeah, I I have seen uh, all the films uh, of Power Kadigal and um, I I love all of them and I think one is based on true story uh, which mm -hmm. is Prakash Raj's uh, and uh, Sai Pallavi's uh, directed by Vetri Maran. Um, what I the best part about it is um, you know now we know uh, the stories all four stories we know it's out in trailer also. But it is so engaging that it is going to draw audience to watch fully. Mm. You understand that now we know that in Van Magal, I have pushed the girl and Sai Pallavi is really in pain. Uh, you know, and likewise other two stories also, we know what's happening. In the trailer itself, it says a lot. But what is the best part is 
that it is going to be you know impactful when everybody is going to sit and watch all the films together mm. it's very engaging the content it's very strong right on that note uh, thank you so much once again for joining us uh, uh, i had a really nice time talking to you and wishing the two of you all the best thank you thank you thank you sabio